melting day. Time to clean off my van. The snow is falling everywhere. It's kind of my favorite when you can just see it sprinkling through the trees. It's so clear to see in the sun. It's happening all around me. Let me give you an example. That wasn't a great example, but you get it. Okay, let's clean this thing off. This is always so fun and satisfying. I was using the snow as a nice little bit of insulation, but the cold day is behind us. So let's start knocking off these icicles. It's traditional for our van to grow some icicles during the winter. I'm gonna try to get this ice ball off my floor. I was hoping it would be a warm enough day today for this to melt off, but nope. Unless, okay. Moderate success. I can't believe we're saying goodbye to such a beautiful spot. But time to go. We got about an hour to sunset, but this area was such a treat and I'm gonna miss it. I can always come back. The snow got so fluffy. I would have loved to make a snowman, didn't happen. I refilled on water, I cleaned everything. I had a really productive day today. So many different birds here. It was so cool to see them all. Could hardly identify any of them, but we might be speaking too soon. I'm gonna try to get out of here. It's pretty thick snow. Kind of nervous about it. I was thinking about waiting a couple more days because it's definitely gonna melt. 
No problem. See you somewhere else. Well, that was stressful. What I did not want to happen happened, of course. I got stuck within five seconds of leaving. Like, when I got in the middle of the road, I pulled out, needed to back up for a little bit more room to turn, and I, was, and I couldn't reverse. I was stuck right in the middle of the road, blocking it vertically. So, there was a little bit of room for people to pass by, and two seconds later, these two guys pull up with their pickup trucks, and the guys were really nice, and they were like, we have a belt, so we're gonna pull you out. They had pickup trucks, and they just gave me a little tug. That's all I needed. It was very little. Like, I just got stuck in the slippery snow. These tires, not good for that at all. And then it was a very slippery, treacherous little drive back to the main highway, which we're on now, and it's a lot better. It's drivable. I can actually, like, it was... I haven't driven a slippery road like that before, and it was just pretty scary. It was just adrenaline rush, because I'm like, I'm in the middle of the road, people are getting by, there was traffic starting to pile up, but these guys were so nice and helped me right away. Literally the entire situation took like 10 minutes just because they were so on time with, I got stuck, they pulled up, and then I got, and then they like hooked it up and pulled me out. So fast, so easy really nice guys. I can't do any wild camping for now until the temperature gets a little bit warmer. I thought the main road would have been clearer than yesterday. Yesterday I noticed it was like a lot clearer than it was today. But no, I guess wrong. Okay, holy shit, now right behind me I just saw a car that was completely flipped sideways off the side of the road in the ditch. Everyone was pulling over to help out. If I pulled over, I probably wouldn't even be able, be able to get out again. This ditch is like really, and that's scary. Fuck, that must have just happened because only two people had pulled over and then everyone else that passed also pulled over. Holy crap, the car was still going, like. Not good, guys, not good. Drive slowly. Holy shit, that's crazy. I hope everyone's okay, this is like, too stressful. I kind of feel horrible seeing that and keep driving on. Especially after I just got helped out of a spot by those other guys, but they already had three people. I saw a third pickup truck pull over helping the guy out and I would just get in the way and block the road. I would really have liked to stop and hope everything is okay and I'll just be left wondering and could actually tell what's going on, but it's a scary day out here in BC. People are not used to this crazy snow, and you gotta be careful. Holiday driving. Oh, it's fucking crazy, guys. I gotta tell you, that was way worse than I thought it would be. I really had confidence for a moment that this was the right day to move, but getting back into the world. There's so much snow in this parking lot everywhere. Uh, there was so much snow along the highway. So many accidents. I saw an ambulance, like, I hope I can just park here for like two days and just let the snow all go away. There are mountains of snow in this parking lot. It's wild. When I visited here the first time, there was no snow at all. Also broke my ice brush thing while trying to get my tires out. This was really cheap anyways. I should pick up a new one though. Hello everyone. I'm just sitting in the front of my van trying to defrost these windows. Classic morning. It was really frosty last night. I don't know why the windows got so frozen, but 
I've been working with my propane heater to melt them and we're getting there slowly. The sun is just coming out, so that's gonna help a little bit. I am gonna go to the library today and hopefully laundry if there's time. Things are gonna be closed for a couple days because of the holidays, New Year's, New Year's Eve. But after this weekend, everything should be much better weather-wise. I swear the sun has the power of like a million propane heaters. It's doing the job so quick that we're getting it from both sides. I am headed off to Victoria today. I decided it was good weather. We're so close. We're just so close. We might as well get there. So I spent the night in this empty parking lot. There's one person there, but there are no signs. And I don't even really know what this parking lot's for. Maybe the library, it's across the road, and that's where I spent my, some time yesterday. It's closed for three days now, so I don't think I'm going to go to this library again. It was really nice, though. I am going to drive about an hour into Victoria to the very edge. We're going to drive around and hopefully find an easy place to park. And I'm going to let everything in, like, the wilderness just melt for a little while. Um... That's why I was like, oh, I want to do a hiking adventure again. But then I decided, no, I'm going to check out Victoria now. It's always safer in the city. Streets are going to be much clearer, I'm sure. That's what we're doing. Let's go. reflection of a clock in that building. We're driving down the downtown right now. One of the downtown streets. This one's called Pandora, also past Bay. Can't wait to walk around later. I'm excited. I love a big city. See what has to offer. It already offers an amazing view of mountains in the distance. Of course, down pretty much every road you see beautiful mountains. I am driving to Dallas Street. Apparently it's on the ocean. I don't know if we'll find parking, but it's the first place we're headed. I think a rock is rolling around my van somewhere. I hear that. I'm really excited to be here. Really excited to warm up my feet after driving for an hour because they're so chilly. I have to um, go through some footage and make space for some more exploring, you know? And I'm so excited to do this. It was such a quiet day in the city today, maybe because it's uh, New Year's Day. Everyone's still sleeping. Not on this road, apparently, though. I'm always able to find the busy ones. But yeah, I'm super excited. Mm. So I just got visited by a bylaw officer here in Victoria. He greeted me very kindly. He was like, firstly, welcome to Victoria. <laughs> Please leave. You can't park here. Three hour max. It's illegal to sleep in your van overnight. That type of thing. I tried to ask him like a little bit more depth questions. Like if there is an area that I can go to, where where is the limit? So it looks like we just got to move our location. I haven't even spent like 12 hours in this spot before he came to talk to me. I was fine on a different street in front of an apartment building, but he just doesn't want me at this area uh, right beside Beacon Hills. I thought it would be okay because there's other vans on this road, but maybe that's what triggered him. He was like, three's too many, even though I think there's more than three. I don't know. But I wonder, I should have noticed if the bylaw officer went to go talk to the other vans or not or maybe they already 
our locals and have an agreement or I don't know. But I had planned on going closer to the library anyways, which is like a 15 minute walk. So probably just a few minute drive. And then I can go there tomorrow. I was gonna go today, but it started raining a lot and I don't wanna carry my power stations. They're pretty heavy that far anyways. So I'm gonna go look over for parking there tonight. I knew it would be tricky in Victoria. This is exactly what I've been waiting for and it's proven itself, so that's totally fine. At least I didn't get a ticket. That's pretty cool. Guys, does the ocean always look like this? This is my first daylight experience. There's just this boat lit up in the middle of some sunshine. It's creating a beam of light across the horizon. And it, the contrast of the clouds over there is just unreal. Earlier, the sun was hitting it even harder and it was like a bulb of light. Now it's just like a beam. Sick. 